Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding If you really like my teaching and my efforts please press the like button share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates In the last video I have discussed about the basic algorithm to compute the dynamic time out timer in this video i want to discuss about the jacobson algorithm so i request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding so let me discuss about the jacobson's algorithm jacobson algorithm in the jacobson algorithm also we will have the initial round trip time which is a guess okay or we can say that it is a predicted round trip time okay the predicted round trip time i have to run it as 10 milliseconds and even i have predicted as okay let me write it as predicted that will be better okay predicted deviation is some 5 milliseconds meaning is that what is the predicted deviation meaning is that i have predicted the round trip time as 10 milliseconds meaning is that i have decided thought that or predicted that i will send a segment and acknowledgement will come in 10 milliseconds but what is the meaning of deviation meaning is that it may come 10 minus or plus 5 milliseconds meaning is that it may come in 5 milliseconds or it may come in 15 milliseconds that is the meaning of the deviation so you have predicted as 10 milliseconds the deviation meaning is that even it come in 5 milliseconds because 10 minus 5 milliseconds in 5 milliseconds also it can come or 10 plus 5 milliseconds it may come in 15 milliseconds so even you are predicting the deviation also now let's take that how to compute the time out timer when we are discussing about the basic algorithm we have computed the time out value is equal to twice the predicted round trip time but when it comes to the jacobson algorithm time out value will be 4 into predicted deviation plus predicted round trip time are you able to understand what is the predicted deviation we have considered here it is 5 milliseconds so 4 into 5 which is 20 plus 10 which is 30 milliseconds so your time out timer is equal to 30 milliseconds this is very important one in basic algorithm the time out value is twice the predicted round trip time when it comes to the jacobson algorithm which is equal to 4 into predicted deviation plus predicted round trip time which is equal to 4 into 5 is 20 plus 10 30 milliseconds is your time out timer so meaning is that once the sender has sent the segment it will wait for 30 milliseconds if the acknowledgement comes within the 30 milliseconds it is okay otherwise it will do the retransmission is it clear are you able to understand let's take that actual round trip time is 15 milliseconds meaning is that you guessed it as you guessed it as 10 milliseconds but actual round trip time is became 15 milliseconds then what is the actual deviation actual deviation is actual round trip time see we are calculating the actual deviation actual deviation is equal to actual round trip time minus predicted round trip time within the absolute value which is 15 milliseconds minus 10 milliseconds which is equal to 5 milliseconds is it clear suppose let's take that why i am taking the absolute value is that suppose you thought that it will come in 10 milliseconds but however it came in 8 milliseconds itself 
8 minus 10 which is equal to minus 2 if I keep the absolute deviation is 2 milliseconds that is what the meaning it is okay always the deviation will be in the positive value okay are you able to understand so what is the deviation we got actual deviation is 5 milliseconds just for your understanding now next time again I have to compute the predicted round trip time value how I will compute the predicted round trip time value I will not keep it again 10 milliseconds because it will become as a static one so how I will compute is alpha into previous predicted round trip time okay or let me make this one as next one okay alpha into predicted value plus 1 minus alpha into actual round trip time value here also the alpha can be from 0 to 1 let's make it simple for computation alpha value is 0 0.5 0 0.5 into what is your predicted round trip time 10 milliseconds again 1 minus alpha is 0 0.5 into actual value is 15 milliseconds so which is equal to 5 plus 7.5 which is equal to 12.5 milliseconds so next time your round trip time will be equal to 12.5 milliseconds I request everyone to note down the computations how I am doing okay 12.5 milliseconds now again you need to predict the deviation so next deviation is equal to again you will not guess you will compute using a formula which is equal to alpha into predicted deviation plus 1 minus alpha into actual deviation here our predicted deviation and the actual deviation is same so if i take again alpha alpha i can take it from 0 to 1 so i'm taking 0 0.5 into 5 plus 0 0.5 into 5 which is equal to 5 milliseconds because we have taken 0 0.5 so we got the 5 milliseconds are you able to understand it or not so because you were this value and this value is same so you got the 5 milliseconds next time so your next deviation is 5 milliseconds now again we will compute the timeout value what is the timeout value timeout value is equal to 4 into the deviation what is the 4 into deviation which is equal to 4 into 5 here which is equal to 20 plus what is the round trip time 12.5 so which is equal to 32.5 milliseconds are you able to understand so you will send a segment and you will wait for 32.5 milliseconds suppose let's take that actual round trip time for this segment became 20 milliseconds so you guessed that it will come in 12.5 milliseconds it came in 20 milliseconds again because of some congestion again it was delayed now what will happen what is your actual deviation okay you have considered it as 12.5 but it came in 20 milliseconds so 20 minus 12.5 which is equal to 7.5 so the deviation is 7.5 milliseconds you have predicted that it will be plus or minus 5 of the 12.5 so you thought that it may come in 7.5 or 17.5 but it came in 20 milliseconds okay are you able to understand it or not? now again i want to compute the next value again how i'll compute the next round trip time can you tell me again alpha into 0 0.5 into this value 12.5 milliseconds plus 1 minus alpha which is again 0 0.5 into this value 20 so can you tell me what is this value 12.5 into 1 by 2 which is equal to 
6.25. Am I right? So 6.25 plus 10 which is equal to 16.25. So your next round trip time value will be equal to 16.25. I hope it is visible for you. Now again I need to compute the next deviation. Next deviation is equal to alpha into, I am considering alpha value as 0 0.5 into the previous predicted deviation plus 1 minus alpha 0 0.5 into 7.5 which is equal to 5 by 2 is equal to 2.5 plus 7.5 by 2 which is equal to 3.75. Will you agree with me or not? 3.75 into 2 is 7.5 which is equal to 6.25. Okay. So, your next deviation, if my computation is wrong, you don't worry. Just you correct it. Actually, you remember this formula. Alpha into previous delay plus 1 minus alpha into actual delay. Okay. So, I hope my computations are correct. Okay. So, next deviation I got it as 6.25. And timeout timer, can you tell me what is the formula for timeout timer? Timeout timer is equal to 4 into the delay, which is equal to delay means what? Deviation. Sorry, I am telling it is delay maybe. 4 into deviation plus round trip time value 16.25. You can compute it. Okay, which is equal to 12.5. 12.5 into 2 is again 25 plus 16.25 which is equal to 31 41.25. So, time out timer will be equal to 41.25. So, this is the way the Jacobson algorithm will work. Okay. Only thing is that you need to remember how to compute the time out timer value and how to compute the next deviation and next round trip time. Is it clear? I hope you have understood how I have discussed the Jacobson algorithm. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Okay. Now, I forgot to tell one point. Let me discuss one point. Okay. You can ask me one thing, sir. Every time you are telling that you are predicted the timeout timer is 30 milliseconds. Suppose let us take this case. You have considered it as a 30 milliseconds. You send the segment because of the congestion it came after 35 milliseconds. Then what will happen? Obviously that will wait for 30 milliseconds and it will resend. However, your acknowledgement is delayed. Then next time what will be your timeout timer? Am I right or wrong? Again, shall I compute using this formula? If I do it again, it may be problem. So that's why what the current, as a scientist, current modification we will tell. It will be applicable for both the basic algorithm and also for the Jacobson algorithm. What is the modification he has done is that if you have kept some timeout timer, if the acknowledgement does not come within the timeout timer, when you are retransferring, next time your timeout timer should be equal to twice the previous timeout timer. Previously, what is the timeout timer we kept? 30 milliseconds. So, next time it should be double and it make it as 60 milliseconds. Again, if it is not coming within that one, again you are resending the packet. Now, you will keep it as 120 milliseconds. Okay. If it is coming within the timeout timer, you will work in this way. If it is not coming, we will have the current modification. What he suggested is that if it is not coming within the timeout timer, you double the timeout timer and resend the packet. I hope you have understood the concepts which I have discussed in this video. One is Jacobson algorithm and current modification. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment session. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. If you really like my teaching and my efforts, please press the like button 
share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates thank you for watching my video have a nice day